As American Rescue Plan funds dry up, programs that benefited from the extra cash are preparing to make do with less. Arkeana Burks is at the State House tonight, and you've learned that advocates are asking the state to make up for those disappearing federal dollars. Daring with American Rescue Plan money, the state was able to increase access and funding to many programs that helped Vermonters stay afloat through the pandemic. But now that those federal dollars are going away, nonprofits say there are many gaps being exposed that need to be addressed. But it doesn't look like there's enough money to go around. The, the ending of all the, the federal programs are definitely exposing the cracks in our systems. Starting in March, officials say SNAP recipients, or what the state calls three squares, will return to pre-pandemic levels. They'll lose the extra monthly benefits. In some cases, people could go from receiving a high of $280 down to less than $100. Anti-hunger advocates say the money is running out at a time when support has never been needed more. People in our state have reported themselves um, that 40% uh, of them, two in five, have experienced food insecurity over the past 12 months. And that's a very high number. That is the highest uh, percentage of people reporting food insecurity in our state that we have ever recorded. Advocates say the snap cuts are just the latest impact the state is seeing as federal pandemic dollars dry up and they're requesting lawmakers find a way to pick up the slack with state money. We have, an, we have a moral and ethical obligation to do really the bare minimum, you know, universal school meals, $3 million for the food bank, $3 million for the AAAs and, and really get engaged in the, the federal farm bill process. The state of Vermont received approximately $10.9 billion in federal support during the pandemic. And legislators say it's just not feasible to expect the state to provide the programs with additional funds without the federal dollars. The state of Vermont does not have the capacity to simply backfill um, the funding that has come into the state as a result of the pandemic. Senator Jane Kitchell is a Democrat who chairs the Appropriations Committee. She says that the spending of federal pandemic dollars needs to be seen as a one-time deal. Is it possible that maybe there will be some kind of bolstering that can be done in the State House for those programs? No. I think that is the fiscal reality. Now, despite this talk about reduced funding, lawmakers and anti-hunger advocates say that Three Squares isn't going away and Vermonters in need should still reach out to them for help. In the State House, Kiana Burks, Channel 3 News.